the Sacramento area loses restaurant after restaurant. The city of Roseville says similar closures there aren't out of the question. While sometimes we tend to be in a bubble here in Placer County, um, I think that we will start hearing and seeing from some of our businesses that they just can't contend with the increase in minimum wage. Wendy Gehrig with the Roseville Chamber of Commerce says they've done research with other cities and their local businesses agree on one thing. Minimum wage or regulations on our businesses continue to be the number one concern that those that are responding to our survey voice to us. We work around college students, so our employees oh, are mostly yeah, college yeah, students, like, yeah. and so, I'm big about education, so I work around their school and, schedules. And the Diana Noe, who owns a health supplement <laughs> store in Roseville with her husband, says she doesn't see the minimum wage hike impacting them, but understands why it can impact small business owners like them. I think that there's that unbalance of like, yes, people need to get paid more, and I agree with that, but then on the flip side, minimum wage also takes an effect on small businesses. For now, though, the city's Chamber of Commerce says they're doing what they can to keep and draw businesses in the area. That includes facade improvement in downtown Roseville. Businesses, if they are suited for this community, they're welcomed with open arms. And there's even more good news for one of the fastest growing cities in the state. The Roseville Chamber says a new restaurant is soon coming to the downtown area, and they hope more entrepreneurs will come their way. Roseville, the community is very business friendly, and um, I think that you can't put a price tag on that.